What's up guys, I'm Dom and in today's video we're going to be checking out this case by Mouse. Now this is a case for the Pixel 7 Pro which I have right here and yeah this has been my daily driver for around a month and I've been using this pretty cool looking case by Caseology which even now looks absolutely stunning. One of the main things I like about this case is well, this sort of pattern here because it makes it feel a lot nicer in your hand. But yeah, now one of the main reasons I decided to get a different case is the fact that this case is pretty nice. But my one issue with this case is the fact that it completely hides the camera bump, which on the Pixel 7 Pro you don't want to hide because it looks pretty decent, it looks really nice. So yeah, I decided to go for another case and the case I went with is this mouse case with the lever effect. But yeah, that decision doesn't mean that this awesome looking case by Caseology isn't any good because it actually is a really nice case and it feels premium as well. So let's just quickly take a closer look at this case. So yeah, this pattern, honestly, when you put your fingers on it, when you're holding the phone, it makes it feel really, really nice. But yeah, this is the case itself and it is pretty solid um, and it's this pretty slim line on the phone itself. Uh, it does state here that it's for Google. Um, so obviously it's been designed pretty well. But yeah, this is the case and I'm definitely keeping this case because I do like this case. So the mouse case here comes in this um, eco-friendly packaging which is pretty cool. Um, I do like this green, I think it looks pretty awesome. So yeah, let's unbox this. To be fair, I should just be able to do that. There we go. So this is life without limits, I like that. There's a mouse in your house. Well, I hope not. <laughs> okay, so this is presented absolutely beautifully. And as you can see, you have a little card to say that it's been made and certified for Google compatibility standards. I do like that. You also get a warning magnetic field. Because, of course, this does have a magnet in it for MagSafe. And yeah, this is the case. And one thing I am going to say it, is that it does feel slightly bulkier than the caseology. I don't know what it is. If you compare these two, that sort of feels more sturdy than that. It does have a bulkiness. You can actually see it uh, here if I compare it to. This caseology case seems to be a lot thinner than the mouse one. But most importantly of all, you do have a magnet here, which is the one thing I was missing since I switched to Android, the support for, wow, MagSafe accessories. Now, I don't know if you can see that, the case does appear a little bent. Um, hopefully that will sort itself out once the phone is inside. But let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so the case does look different um, than I imagined, but you do have a better visual on that beautiful camera uh, bump there anyway. I really need to clean it. <laughs> yeah, so actually, it does feel pretty good in your hands. And it definitely feels like it's up to the job when it comes to protecting your phone. So I've gone with this sort of lever effect one. I think it looks pretty decent. Yeah, so actually, one thing I will say now, this is just my first impression, is that I think the Caesarology Parallax feels a lot nicer in my hands. But this is just my first impression and it obviously is because of this sort of lever effect on the back of the case. But saying that, 
I do feel that the mouse case is better and is of a lot more premium quality. Now I want to test to see how strong the magnet is in the back of this case. So what I am going to do is I'm going to see if I can attach this anchor power bank to it. This is a power bank I purchased for my iPhone 12 and it's done me pretty well. But whether it will work with this, that's another question. I don't even know if it's charged or not. Okay, I believe it is. That's a good sign. So let's see how it works. Wow. But the question is, is it charging? No, it isn't. But nevertheless, um, whilst the power bank is dead, um, it seems to have a pretty strong, seems to have a pretty strong hold on it, which is obviously a good thing. Now I have to find all of my ever MagSafe accessories. I did manage to charge this charger and unfortunately it still does not work. It still is not compatible by the looks of things, which is actually strange because um, this case works really, really well with ever wireless chargers such as the Pixel Stand. And yeah, it just works basically. But this, I place it on there, press the power button, um, and yeah, it hasn't detected that it's charging, which is a shame because it actually holds on there incredibly well. So yeah, that, that is really a shame. Uh, but that is not to say that other power banks won't work. Uh, obviously, it's highly recommended that you check with the manufacturer before purchasing a power bank. But unfortunately, this particular one isn't working for me. Now, accessories that do work is this. Now, this is a Spygen um, card wallet and stand that I had for my iPhone 12. It's quite old now and you can see that it's pretty used. But it's still a pretty decent uh, device, so product. Uh, in that case, it holds two cards. And on top of that, you can actually turn it into a stand, sort of like that. But that's something that works incredibly, I hope I have it the correct way, that helps, but it's something that works incredibly well on this. Obviously, it stays pretty strong on there, it's a really good um, magnet, uh, and you can use it as a stand. So that's how it would work. My only concern about that is that it is pretty unstable when you do it like that. So if you're on a train and you want to place it on a table, I would not recommend doing it like this. But on the other hand, if you place it down like that, it seems to be a lot more sturdy. So you could watch a movie, YouTube videos, anything like that. So that's also pretty decent. And obviously with MagSafe, there are plenty of accessories which you could buy. Obviously it's worth bearing in mind that just because it's compatible with MagSafe or just because that it is MagSafe doesn't mean that it's going to work with this case. But yeah, that's it from this video. If you enjoyed this video, it will mean a lot to me if you could hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content. It will help my channel get noticed by the algorithm and by you guys. But that's it from me. Till next time.